Okay, hello to my friends in Nigeria. I'm feeling like we're either having internet issues or we're having some communication difficulties in getting us together. I know that we dropped the ball on timing yesterday and apparently it seems like maybe some of the people didn't know that this was scheduled as well. Um, I'm very, very fortunate to have with us one of the founders and owners of our company, Larry Lane. Um, I'm going to ask him to uh, speak in a couple of moments, but first I'm gonna set the stage for that. And then after that, I've got a special surprise for all. Um, Samantha does not uh, does not participate in these every week, but because of the importance of this Nigerian group, she's here today, and she's uh, shortly going to be with me in Nigeria. Not this coming trip, but one there, one coming up thereafter. So today, you'll get a little bit of content from me. We'll hear from one of the founders of the company. We'll hear from Samantha, and I'm hoping that the information proves to be altogether constructive. The first thing that I want to clear up is I've had two or three people over the last week uh, send me a message saying, "Oh my gosh, Randy, the company's late on paying commissions." And so Larry, just go ahead and click your mic on and tell me, is there a single chance that anyone has earned a commission that has not been paid in this company? I know the answer, but you're one of the owners. Is there a single chance someone has earned a commission that has not been paid? Absolutely not. We paid all commissions. Absolutely. Okay. So folks, that was a misunderstanding. And I've come to understand how important communication is. I've known that from my life, but a couple of days ago, um, one of the owners of our company sent a message and in the united states that message would not have been overwhelmingly um difficult to receive because it was said kind of tongue-in-cheek and he was just trying to figure out how to get the money out of the bank and he said so are these guys running a scam or something and then the the pushback that i got because people felt like they were being accused of wrongdoing that wasn't the truth that was a difference in our culture and your culture and then um, a couple of days later, so I had this, this thing where my friends and my counterparts in Nigeria were thinking that the company was being less than kind or less than forthcoming. Um, and, then, uh, and then just yesterday, the day before, I had people tell me, well, we didn't get paid commissions on time. And, you know, as soon as I sent that message across to people, I got kind of the same pushback from the people at the company side, you know, they said, give me a break. We did pay commissions on time. It's all about communications, folks. Uh, what I know is this, what I know, having been involved with Larry and Nick and Eric and Orkan for the period that I have, and having seen the way that they react to situations that go our way and those that don't, these are people we want to be a business with. And Larry, I can say the same about our counterparts in Nigeria. We have been fortunate to attract to our business in the early days, some of the most influential and some of the finest people that I have met in any environment. We have cultural differences, but I'll tell you what, inside these people beat the hearts of gold, those that I've met, and we can do something really, really good and really important here for a long time. Uh, Peter is joining us right now. Peter is one who thinks that his commissions have not been paid appropriately. Oh, it looks like, look how he didn't get in. I think he might be having connectivity issues. And so Peter and everybody else, I want you to understand the way the commissions work. We have some commissions that are paid every week. The commissions that are paid every week are the enrollment commissions. I enroll a new person and they they spend $79 and I receive a $25 enrollment bonus. And when does that get paid? That gets paid two Mondays after the two Mondays after the close of a business on Friday. And so, Peter, it's not that your commissions haven't been paid, it's that they are not yet eligible to be deposited into your bank. If you have earned a commission then it will show up as not being simply pending. Pending is what it is during the time between when the transaction happened and when it then becomes eligible to be transferred into your bank. And so when you look in your account and you see an amount and it's not transferable, that is because it is a pending amount. And that has nothing to do with the way that our company operates. That has to do with allowing the settlement process to take place. And it is absolutely in no way, shape or form ever a delay. So I just want everyone to understand that completely, completely. Then. The next, um, and here comes Winfrey. And the next question that was raised is Eric and Larry and Nick were so incredibly um, generous and said that in Nigeria, we would, we would pay for the month of, we said for the month of July and now we're in August and because it's taken us a while to get the bank set up, I'll be your advocate and I'll chat with our friends and maybe that'll become September as well. But we said we'd pay $25 direct, or $50 direct sales commission. Hey, come in, and so I've had people, oops, Winfred, can I get you to mute your phone? Winfred, can I get you to mute yourself there? Because actually, you shock, yeah? Hold on, I've got to get to Winfred. And... Okay, okay, perfect. Hi, good to see you. Do me a favor, just mute your phone. We had a little background noise there. Wonderful to see you, and thank you for taking it. Okay, and so. Oops, hold on, we just need to mute it. Maybe a little bit. Not what I'm looking for. Hold on. I figured this out. I've done, I've done one million zooms in my life, and so why this would be hard for me to figure out right now is very difficult to understand. Yeah, yeah. Huh. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And so, I don't know if that works. Yeah, there we go. Good to see you, my friend. I'm happy you're here. Um, so understand that the compensation plan was not completely reprogrammed because we're doing a promotion in Nigeria. And so the compensation plan is going to say a $25 commission has been earned. Then it is a manual adjustment after the end of the month to add the extra $25. One thing I want you all to know, and I know that time takes time and it especially takes time for trust to be developed. This company does what it says it will do the way it says it will do it on the day it says it will be done. The day will come, and hi, Peter, really wonderful to see you right now. The day will come when all of you will know the same thing that I know, that you may not understand something, but there will never come a time when you don't believe you've been paid correctly, accurately, on time. You'll understand that simply doesn't happen. And so for those who have done enrollments and have seen a $25 commission post, that's entirely appropriate because that's the way the compensation plan works. Then at the end of the month, there will be a manual adjustment where the other $25 will be added to your account. You won't have to remind me of that. I'm very, very aware of every single enrollment. You know that I am because I'm doing every single one right now. So I'm aware of every one and nothing is going to slip through my fingers or fall through the cracks. Um, then the next thing that I wanted to explain from an admin standpoint is that uh, I'm hoping today to hear from the embassy. Um, my passport is now at the embassy. I was told Friday that either today or tomorrow it would come out of the embassy and be in my hands. The second that the embassy tells me that they've got the passport and it's being emailed as being Federal Express back to me, that's where I'll buy my ticket. My current hope, and it's again, it's out of my control, if the visa is in that passport such that I can travel on Thursday, I will. Thursday this week, which would allow me to be in Lagos on Friday which would allow us to do a Lagos event on Saturday. And now that's as far as I've gone because I'm waiting to see the visa. When I make this trip, um, it will be a trip where we're going to have to be very efficient with time um, as it works out. My uh, ninth wedding anniversary is September the 5th. And so no matter what day I arrive, I'm going to get home on September the 4th. <laughs> so we're going to have to do our very best to get all of these various venues and events planned out in that period of time. Uh, but my objective for being here, oh, a couple more things. This happened, by the way, in the last 15 minutes and it happened so recently, Larry, that uh, it may even be that Eric hasn't talked with you about this. But Eric called me just a few minutes ago, knowing that we had this session. And he said, Randy, I'm aware that we've been struggling trying to get our banking situation resolved. It seems to be getting very, very close where the company can see the money coming in. They can have the money tied to the person who placed the order. We can begin to automate things. It won't require that I enter every order on my credit card. I think we're like really, really close to that being done. But now there are people in Nigeria who registered the day that we got the bank account open. So there are people who registered three weeks ago who now would have a requirement to pay again in just a couple of days when really they've been unable to log into their account to access the back office that's really not fair um, but i want you to notice that none of you had to tell me randy that's really not fair the CFO, ceo of our company called me and said you know what randy that's really not fair and so let's pretend that no matter when they enrolled let's pretend that no one has enrolled in our company until this coming monday so everyone's start date is this coming Monday. And that means that if you enrolled three and a half weeks ago, that you don't have a $59 requirement to be active this coming in a couple of days. And you don't have to go out and enroll five people to delay that in a couple of days. Now, I'm hoping that just that thing that I just said, I didn't call the company and say, guys, this is not fair. None of you called me and said, Randy, this is not fair. The CEO of the company called me and said, Randy, this is not fair. Let's do what's right for these people. That simple thing that happened in the last 30 minutes should tell you all that you need to know about the nature of our company. Now, that said, Larry Lane is one of the uh, founders, owners, he is uh, one, of the driving, oh, here. one of the driving forces behind this business. And he's got just a few minutes to be with us. Part of what I wanted to do was gradually expand the knowledge that each of you have um, as relates to the people you're in business with. No company, no organization can become stronger than the relationships of the people in it. And uh, Larry is, is one of those people who this company is to some respect. It is an extension of him, of who he is as a person. Um, Larry, we have here uh, Peter. Peter, he, he stepped up. I'm telling you, the, the first time that I went to Nigeria, um, 
no matter where I went, there was there was Peter. I mean, even if I was with him in one city and it was a 14 hour bus ride to the next city, when I got there, there was Peter. And then when I went to the next city, there was Peter. I mean, this is a guy who has evidenced commitment that is like pretty remarkable. And it is a very, very, very meaningful percentage of the people in our Nigerian business so far who are there as a direct result of Peter's efforts. So Peter, once again, I thank you for the commitment, the effort you made. And then of course, UK is our friend from Cameroon. She is the, uh, she is the uh, conduit that gets us to all these wonderful folks. And Larry, I'm just gonna turn it over to you to say whatever you think needs to be said, anything you think these folks need to know from you, and uh, it's yours. Hey, Randy, thank you so much. And Samantha, I'm honored to be here with y'all today. And Peter, I'm looking forward to meeting you in Nigeria with Randy very, very soon and UK, UK as well. But Randy, I'll say, you know, I've actually, um, I've been doing this a long time, just like you. And I actually, one of my product companies in 2018, we did the full registration in Nigeria. And that is a process. So we did the whole registration. So I know a lot about Nigeria and the incredible people there. And I'm looking forward to building that business. And Randy, I think the main thing that myself and Eric and Nick and leaders like yourself, when we really started putting Nilo together, we wanted something that was affordable to the masses. We really wanted something that we could take global and be all over the world. We wanted to add value and savings to people's life. And we really wanted to reward people who are helping us share this message and share this membership and build the company. And, you know, I mentioned in that product company that was called Brain Fuel Plus. It was like a brain product. But when you're dealing with a product, that's all you're limited to is like one product. If you're dealing with travel, you're just dealing with travel. The one thing I loved about Nilo Life and why I said yes to Eric Allen is because I knew this membership as we grow to millions of people around the world, our membership will grow, our value will grow, the products will grow. So we can get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think to have a $79 global price point for people in Nigeria, Randy's got people in Israel, I've got teams in Vietnam, Eric is going tomorrow to China. We are global and I've been doing this over 35 years. This is probably the biggest thing that I will ever be a part of. I'm proud to be in it with people like Randy and Samantha because I know where their heart is. I know where our owners, where our hearts are. And like Randy said from day one, Randy brings a suggestion. We take in that suggestion. And usually within 24 hours, we've got that suggestion is already out there. So I, we're just all locking arms. And I'm really looking forward to doing big meetings with thousands and thousands of people in Nigeria. And Randy knows we're here. If Randy needs us, we're available 24-7. And that's how we're going to run and grow this company, all of us together. Fabulous. Let me, let me just... Uh interact with you here a little bit. You would not even be aware of this, but the company um, as a promotion, you're aware of that, that if these people enroll a person, let's stop and think about this for a moment. In um, the United States, if a person enrolls a new member who spends $79, they get a $25 commission. Well, that's great. That's a 30% commission. And $25 has its value in the United States. In Nigeria, not, not long term, but right now on a promotion basis in Nigeria right now, if a person enrolls a member for $79, the commission they will receive is $50. That's 60%. And you know, $50 is a lot different in Nigeria, isn't it, than in America? That's like a really big deal. And um, folks, I think that it is so remarkable. I would just ask you all, if you're a Nigerian, if you've lived and are from Africa, Ask yourself this question. Has any U.S.-based company ever come to you and said, you know what, we'll pay you twice as much as we pay somebody in America to do the same thing? I mean, Larry, that's completely bizarre, isn't it? That is the yep. absolute direct opposite. When I try to get people to understand, let it sink in deep, folks. This is not like something you've done before. Think about that again. We will pay you right now in Nigeria twice as much as we'll pay somebody in the United States to do the exact same thing. That should, that should occupy a great big space in your brain and give you an idea of what is to come. And then we know it goes a little bit further. Our company recently introduced a product called Stellamar. And all of you know that the company has said that if you enroll a person, they'll pay you more. And what did I say? I said that if you enroll five people uh, before... And I, what I said was August, we've had these challenges going on. I'm going to extend that uh, through September. But if you enroll five people in any of the any of the methodologies, 
then in addition to getting paid twice what you'd get paid anyplace else, you know what else will happen? I will give you at my expense. It's not a company promotion. This is a Randy promotion, a bottle of Stellamar. Folks, that's another 90 bucks. You just got $140 for doing $79 in business. That's the truth. And if there was ever a moment where um, there was a reason to act and act now, I would say that this is that moment. Um, and I, I guess I know that you got to head off, Larry, and then I'm going to bring Samantha on. But just tell me, is there anything, just tell these guys, anything else you want them to know before you head off and chat with the next group of eager people? Yeah, absolutely. I'll just say that we're so excited to work with you. And I know Randy has such value and such high esteem for all of you. So we know that Nigeria is going to be one of our biggest markets. And we, myself, Eric and Nick, we are all planning on being there for the big meetings and growing right alongside with you. So we will lock arms. We will be here to support you. And as Randy said, we always, one thing about me, I do, I do the payouts and I always look to pay as much as humanly possible that we can pay out to people helping us build and grow this business of Nilo Life. So Randy, I thank you and Samantha so much for having me here today. You're the bomb. Thank you. So thank you. Now, um, I'm going to this is this is the very first um, Nila Life presentation that Samantha has been a part of. Samantha and I do this business together. Of course, our life is together. We do this business together. We've done amazing things around the world, uh, but I've been let her describe those things to you instead of me doing it. So Samantha, babe, turn on your video and turn on your microphone and I will turn this over to you. Are you there? There we go. Everyone, this is my wife, Samantha. Um, she Boop. will visit Nigeria with me quite soon. And I don't know what quite soon means, but she'll visit Nigeria with me quite soon. So Martha, I'll shut up and turn it over to you. Uh, this is Winfred. She's the girl. She's wearing a purple thing on her head right now. But she's the girl that I came home and I showed you her beautiful red braids. <laughs> and I, I met her and I said, this is the girl wearing the beautiful red braids. And uh, this, of course, there we go. I remember you so well. And this, of course, I indicated is Peter. Peter. Either followed me around Nigeria or preceded me to various locations. Around Nigeria. <laughs> Praise and God. He, Thank he you, planted, Peter. He just planted a really <laughs> big flag. So at any rate, I will turn it over to you. Everybody, my wife's an athlete. Okay. So today, just for a couple of minutes, Randy has asked me to recount a couple of our greatest successes. And not for the reason to highlight what we have done as a family, but to express how far we will go to help you and your family and your community and your country succeed. And then the countries that it stems out from. And so um, we, we both know our place in the business. Randy is the business, the business, the business, the money, the money, the mechanism, the mechanism, the mechanism, and I am the heart. And so that's how we make it work together. And so he asked me to talk about first our our biggest success together was with a previous company where we got to our limit in the United States and the business was running itself. And the company said to us, the corporate company said to us, where are we going next? And so our most fresh circle of influence was in Europe. So we went to Europe and it started very, very small. And then all of a sudden we realized that we didn't have proper shipping channels. And so with a, oops, somebody has their volume on. Hey babe, can you, okay. So with I'm a, I'm trying. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. With a three month old baby, Randy went to Europe for three weeks at a time. And I was at home and I was the shipping and receiving center for all orders that were European. And it was, it got to the point where I actually shipped out cumulative almost 100,000 orders from our home before the company had a warehouse on the ground in Europe. And then that business was running itself and it was a beautiful, beautiful ah, thing. Order. And then they said, okay. Now that that's running itself, where do we go next? And we said, Japan. And so we went to Japan. Hey, babe. I'm trying, sweetie. 
turn off your microphone. Okay, I'm sorry. Not mine. This the noise. And so we went to Japan and we had to legalize our product. We had to figure out shipping options. And we did that. And then we had to overcome one of the biggest obstacles, and that was legalizing our product in Mexico. We created a 501c3 organization, which is a charitable organization that gives back to children. We had our representative go and speak to the World Health Organization to legalize the product globally. And we just did not stop. And that is the point of this is Randy mentioned the commitment that you have made and the commitment that the company has made that there is no obstacle that would deter us from moving forward so long as we can hold hands and do it together. And it's not about what we have done as a family. Again, it's about what we can do together to change lives for you, for your family, for your country, for everyone else. And we have dedicated ourselves to making this our greatest success because we know that it can be. This is the next success for all of us. And we need to recognize, once again, Randy just mentioned the promotions that the company is doing. The, the company is investing in promotions for you specifically, not for the rest of the world, but for Nigeria, for Africa, because we want this to be be our primary focus. Every time that we have been wildly successful, it has always been because we have made one nation our primary focus and we have run with it. And we love you guys. <laughs> there has only been one time in my life that I exper experienced culture shock and that was the first time going to Japan. It's very, very different than the United States or Europe or anything. And my husband doesn't have very many new experiences. But I know when he came to Nigeria, he experienced culture shock. But at the same time, he came home and he said, let's do this. Let's carry Nigeria. Let's make this happen for this nation for this continent. And so that's what we're here to do. Is that good, babe? So folks, yes, thank you. And I was trying, <laughs> I was monitoring the whole time, trying to figure it out, need the mics and so on. But folks, um, I wanted to cement that when I came home from Nigeria, um, I, I'm a businessman. I am a to the core entrepreneur. <laughs> that's what I am. But people do matter to me. And I observed, I met, I interacted with people in Nigeria who want success as badly as they want to breathe. That's the truth. And that warms my heart because that's the way that I want success. And I want to highlight that we want success. And I want to highlight just a couple of things that Samantha said. We have been fortunate. We have been blessed. God has chosen to be, for whatever reason, especially kind to us. That is the fact. Our part of that has been to implement strategies that are likely to succeed. And one significant part of that strategy is not trying to be all things to all people, but identifying places where we can make a significant focused effort. And that turned into a success of all, almost hard to imagine in Europe for a decade. Um, it turned into success that's equally hard to imagine in Japan for a decade. Um, we'll know tomorrow what tomorrow brings. We don't know in advance. We know looking back, we don't know looking forward. My sense is that the time is right for Africa generally and for Nigeria specifically. My sense, my feeling having been there is that we have been fortunate to come into interaction with you, some people who are um, knowledgeable, who are in some cases well-known, respected and admired, 
In other cases, people who haven't yet been given their platform, but we hope to give that to them. So at any rate, our purposes in being here, my purpose today for being here was to try to broaden the vision a little bit. Right now, the vision of Neela Life, logically for many of you, is evidenced in one person because I'm the one you've seen. And so I asked today for Larry to be here so that I could begin to broaden that. I asked today for Samantha to be here so that we could begin to broaden that. Um, we want you to know that we don't just invite you to get involved in our business. We invite you into our lives and we invite ourselves into your lives. Um, we make relationships that stand for decades. That's what we do. We build relationships that stand for decades. And sometimes it takes quite a few years for the next success to become evident. And sometimes it only takes weeks. Um, we'll know in the next few weeks. <laughs> which people grow quickly and which don't. But what I promise you is this, those who become committed to the idea that the process is right, if you're willing to get well, well, develop the skill, we'll get where we want to go. And so that being said, Samantha, is there anything else you'd like to add to that? I'll let you. And otherwise, I think we'll let these folks be done for the night. Oh, you're, you're muted, babe. You're muted. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the most important thing is, besides everything else, um, that the communication, you know, there, there sometimes is a little bit of a communication barrier and I want everyone to know that they can reach out to me because I can sometimes be of assistance with that barrier so that we can make things flow a little bit more easily and happen more quickly between our family in Nigeria and the company. Let me, let me help with that just a little bit. Does what that make sense? The problem with communication, sometimes that goes to the simplest thought. I'm as old as dirt and I don't hear very well. And so when an accent <laughs> is a little different, I mean, Peter, you speak perfect English, but your English is not the same as my English. And if I can't see your face and see your lips when you're speaking, I might not understand what you're saying. When Samantha says that sometimes there's communication, if you feel like you're not getting a message across to me, don't be, don't think that I'm going to be offended. If you reach out to Samantha and say, this guy's not getting it. Okay, we want to understand the issues. So Actually, it's better to send the message to Samantha first. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> or copy me on the message yeah, so that yeah, we that can works. make sure that we take all of the needed actions to resolve whatever issues we may be having. Or yeah. they're they're not even issues at this point. They're they're more hurdles. They're hurdles that we have to jump through and challenges that we have to face when opening a new company and that's what we have always done and we have never ever 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 quit on our people what we do is we navigate through every when it's it was legality with our last company for the most part it was shipping issues when we navigate through all of those challenges together then suddenly it explodes and it really doesn't take any time in the grand scheme of things. Okay. So folks, I will know later today or tomorrow um, what my travel date will be. And as soon as I've got that nailed down, then you will know. Um, UK, I'm going to turn it over to you and, and see if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, anything you'd like to add to this or detract from it or points of clarification. UK? Yes, Samantha, you brought me to tears. <laughs> oh, UK, I love you. you. That's why I, I am here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just want to thank you and thank Randy for the commitment you have for Nigerians, for your heart and everything. And my leaders, to the leaders in Nigeria, Eukarya, you're going to be one of the top stars in this company. I really realized that I haven't talked to you, I haven't met you, but you and Peter are going to carry this team along. And I am so happy with the assurance. I've been trying to assure Peter, and I know he trusts me and believes in me. But now hearing from Samantha, there's no turning back. You guys have met Randy, and you know his commitment to this company, and you know his commitment to Nigeria and Africa as a whole. You guys are in the right place at the right time and for such a season as this. We ah, there we go. There's her, there's her Nigerian outfit. This was the gift given. This by is Anna. what I have hanging in my closet. <laughs> I'm, ready. I'm ready. I'm oh ready. I'm ready. That's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. 
So guys, I really want to appreciate you, um, Randy and Samantha, and I want to appreciate all the leaders in Nigeria. Let's feel, let's really load the next, guess what? You guys don't realize that Randy's time is so valuable. And if he gives us time, let's make a commitment to bring load these Zooms as much as possible so that we can come and hear what he has to say because this will only propel our business to the next level. So next time I know, I know, I know the banking has been delaying and stuff like that, but everything is working behind the scene to make, make this as easy and as profitable for everybody. So you guys, I appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. And Randy and Samantha, I appreciate you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you, UK. Everybody, I'm blowing you a kiss. And just uh, as you leave this session tonight, remember this. None of you had to tell me that, um, you know what, that it hasn't been possible for people to be qualified. You didn't have to tell me that. And I didn't have to tell the company that. The company said, you know what, this is not fair for these people. That tells you all you have to know. You didn't have to ask. The volunteer was made. You didn't ask us to pay you extra money. We chose to do that because we know that you need some money right now. And those proofs of income are important. What I want you to know, and Peter, I respect that there was confusion, but I want you guys to know that there will never be an error made that is an error made of a moral failing or a, a um, integrity issue. That will not happen. We will do the right thing for the right reasons at every single step. That being said, sad to thank you. UK, thank you. Folks, I will post in the... Um, uh, what's that group later today or tomorrow the second i know what my travel date is you'll know it i look forward to seeing you soon have a wonderful night bye bye thanks everybody love everybody love you guys bye bye peter i'll call you <laughs> bye -bye.